I'm Dario Franchitti. I hope you can join me on my T50 journey. I think you can tell a lot about a place by what the car part looks like. Pole position, Gordon's Cosworth powered Mark I Escort hot rod. It is absolutely stunning. All I've got to do now is find the keys for it. Today is a really exciting day for the T50 project, where hopefully the Cosworth engine in the mule fires up for the very first time. Everybody, meet George. Now, George isn't much to look at, but he is critically important to the T50 project. So, why, first question, why go to all the bother of building this? Not Why don't we just wait until the, the tubs are up and running? It's mainly down to getting a head start with uh, emissions and engine cow. That's the main purpose of this beast. So the engine at the moment um, is restricted to 4,000 revs. As the cow work goes on and improves, then the engine revs will go up. It's covered in sensors. How many sensors have you got in this thing? What are you, what are you measuring? All the type of things we need for emissions. Um, if this was a heat management car, we'd probably have another 100 sensors on it. A lot of wiring. But this is the Cosworth engine. Yeah. The extract gearbox, this is, this is pretty close to the, the, the final drive train. Yes, it is, absolutely. Um, we've also got the proper fuel system, fuel pumps, proper oil system. So it is literally, this could come out of here and go straight into an XP car. And it's got the, the gear change system. Yep, so we'll be doing a lot of work with that as well, which is one of the reasons why we've got this car as well, because this gearbox has got all um, detents that we can change very easily. And it's got the pedals? Yep, we've got the proper accelerator pedal, the clutch pedal, that's all really lightweight. Um, special sensors on the pedals as well. Everything in here is T50. So we've basically shoehorned it into an Ultima. Mm -hmm. Had to do a few mods to the chassis, but um, it is a T50 piece. Where's dear old George going to go? With? First of all, it'll be going up to Millbrook. Uh, into the emission labs and then onto the test circuits and then um, we'll be going off to Italy, Nardo, um, Idiada in Spain, all the normal test circuits. This week we will be mainly looking at getting the car to a drivable state so then it could then go on to an, uh, a dyno for an emission cycle. And we'll be hearing this beautiful induction noise yet today because it's been moving. But... Yeah. This, this one's all actually RP. <laughs> but the, the um, one that will go on the car will be all carbon. Full carbon? Full carbon, yeah. Okay, you ready to start? Lunch down, go. Three, two, one. <laughs> 